right, welcome back. We have a new deck in Explorer and Pioneer. Mono Black Discard. Mono Black Discard has been getting some press lately, and I would like to share my build, which I recently used to qualify for a regional championship tournament. All right, so... The other mono black discard decks are more spell heavy, while this version is more creature heavy. We have, for our discard spells, we have Dreams of Steel and Oil, which lets you hit artifacts or creatures from the hand, and also a bonus one from the graveyard. Those cards are exiled, so some incidental exiling as well. The other discard cards are Burglar Rat, Enters the battlefield, 1-1, one, one, discard a card, and then Elder Fang Disciple does the same thing. And then we also have those cards can pair well with Biting Palm Ninja, which has Ninjutsu, return a creature card that attacked and wasn't blocked to your hand. And then this comes into play attacking with a Menace Counter on it. You can remove the Menace Counter should you desire, and you can exile a card from your opponent's hand as well. So if you return a Burglar Rat or an Elder Fang Disciple, you get some bonus discard action. And then other discard, we have Liliana of the Veil. It could be discard, it could be creature sacrificing as well. For our creatures that are our win conditions, we have Knight of the Ebon Legion, fantastic one drop that can come down and be a threat. It also can get plus three, plus three, and death touch, so it can be versatile in that regard. It can also grow bigger if 4 damage is lost by a single player during your turn. That can be you or your opponent. We also have the Graveyard Trespasser. A pretty solid threat. And then it can get bigger and it has difficult to get rid of because it has Ward of discarding a card as well. Of course we have our Shield Red, the Apocalypse, the game winner if you cannot answer it. And then we also have, for removal, we have March of Wretched Sorrow, Instant Speed, Incidental Life Gain, and also hits Planeswalkers. My removal choice is Infernal Grasp, just destroy anything, worry about the life later in true uh, black color fashion. We also have a Singleton Vraska Betrayal Sting for extra card draw. It can double up on removal or triple up on removal if unopposed. And lastly, we have our land base. We have some Agadim's Awakening, which can also come in handy when you can re return a 1-drop, 2-drop, 3-drop, 4-drop, or some combination to the battlefield mid or late game. Castle Lockthwain for card draw. Hive of the Eye Tyrant for extra damage, menace, and graveyard removal. Takanuma for additional utility. And then we are running Mishra's Foundry as our creature and over Mutavault. Since Mishra's Foundry, it can uh, become a 4 4 attacking if you have two of them chained together, which can be a formidable threat. For your opponent. The sideboard we have Damping Sphere, so we want to uh, stop the mono green deck from using all their mana. The Filigree Silex is good for things that are low to the ground, also useful against decks that utilize a lot of tokens, and control decks incidentally also use tokens for their finishers as well. So good removal, removing several things at once. Similar uh, thought process, Extinction Event is a great way to turn a game into a blowout if you are lucky enough to have no drawback from this card. Otherwise, it's a great way to get rid of threats that are difficult to deal with, or there's a lot of them at the same time. We're doing some Rotten Reunion for our choice Graveyard Removal. Spot Removal with Flashback also gets you a de Decayed Zombie Token which can also be ninjutsu 
up to thin air to help your biting palm ninja. And also incidental damage, so that's four damage on one card. We have Extract the Truth, our choice removal for enchantments also can hit the hand early as well, so it's relevant both early game and late game. Provide your opponent has one enchantment that you want them to get rid of. And then lastly we have for the low to the ground decks, we have our board wipe of malicious malfunction, minus two, minus two to the world, and exile them all as well. So there you have it. This is what I'm running for Mono Black Discard. It has some really fun matchups and it served me well. I have made Mono Black Discard decks in the past, and so when I went to my RCQ, I thought, let's try Mono Black Discard. I put together a list, played one game on Arena, and wound up getting second place, which was good enough for an invite. Hooray! Well, thank you for watching, and that's all I got.